Investigation and prosecution are vital aspects of protecting children from sexual exploitation, but involving young people in these processes currently means exposing them to potential trauma and further re-victimisation. Young people who've acted as victims and witnesses in such cases and the professionals supporting them repeatedly describe these experiences as distressing and deeply disempowering. As one young woman in our research remarked, from the moment you first make contact with the police, you lose all control. The research we do in this area is done in partnership with young people who've been through these processes and it explores how things can be different. And it illustrates that more positive experiences can and do exist. So what needs to happen for these to become the norm? In short, we need to make sure that policy commitments are consistently translated into practice, that victims' welfare needs are absolutely prioritised, recognising that this improves investigative outcomes, and to make child-centred justice a reality, enabling children and young people to claim their rights wherever possible to be involved in decisions made with them rather than for them.